Well, what more can I say that hasn't already been said about the dear ladies and particularly dear George? At Patrick's memorial, George spoke about the duo's music and this was very much down to George's consummate skill as a pianist and musician. He arranged virtually all the duo's music into manageable keys that allowed them to perform such a huge repertoire. And his own falsetto blended perfectly with Patrick's, often achieving even higher notes than even Dame Hilda, a truly beautiful sound. But George also proved what a fine actor he was. Look at his iconic Miss Marple in Murder at the Vicarage, Lottie Schoen in Lettuce and Lovage, and both Gwendolyn and Miss Prism in The Importance of Being Earnest not to mention his panto villainesses, Wicked Queen in Snow White, Carabos in The Sleeping Beauty, and Wicked Sister in Cinderella. And the writing of his own life story and Evadne's Chronicle took autobiography to a new level, ironically only ever achieved by one other, Barry Humphreys. George was extremely kind to work with and very generous, albeit a little naughty at times, with everyone he worked with on stage and I feel very proud to have worked with him. Hinge and Brackett were one of the great variety double acts who rightly deserve that place in the history of variety in this country. Mm -hmm.